Good morning, evening, people. This is Panther the Rankin, and welcome to uh, my very first Let's Play of PlayStation VR Worlds. It's been a while since I actually did any sort of recording, but I recently got myself a PSVR, and I figured I'd give this a bit of a shot. So, with all that said, let's get into it. So, uh, I decided to play a, a little interesting game called London Heist. This is my first, my first time playing something like this, so I'm going to be going in slightly blind. So, let's start. I like how I can hit this ball around with my controller. Anyway. Uh, watch the controller. I don't have uh, any move sticks yet. I played through the tutorial early, so I... Well, I need to refresh on what I can do. Alright. Pick up the can. Drop it in the tray. Pull open the drawer. Yeah, I already got the hang of this. All right. There we go. Oops. Takes a while to get used to that. Okay. That was completely unnecessary. I guess I knew what I was doing. Story. Oh, yeah, I played through the first part of it a little bit. So, uh. It's not completely blind, but yeah. Alright, we're ready. East London lock up. 6.32 a.m. Right. Looks like some sort of a garage or some sort. I hear something, but I don't see anything. Nothing's going to pop out at me, is it? Frank! Who? Oh, hey there. To pull the switch. See, just fucking right up. No, no, Frank. I don't know where she is. And I'm worried. I think I know who does. Am I being held hostage or something? You see this? Um Fancy your chances, did ya? Excuse me? Oh, hey there, I guess. Hey, little man. Way. You see, cause I'd <laughs> say they're pretty fucking limited, wouldn't you? Um I wouldn't know. Plain and simple. Go in quietly, get Serena, and take her to Frank. But oh no, you had to do a little fucking disappearing act. Why are you? Some sort of fucking magician? Mm, last night, check out, wasn't it? I'll tell you what. I've got a little magic trick of my own I'd like to show you. <laughs> I think he's gonna fucking love this one. Yeah. Watch. Hey, I know that. They know you're a magi <laughs> magician as well. <laughs> but what you plan on doing with that gun? The only question I got for you is... Um, why are you pointing at me? Where the fuck is she? She who? That's quite some intro there. <laughs>
Oh, I'm, apparently I'm in some bar of some sort. Oh, I got a cigarette, even though I don't smoke. Can I put this here? No, I can't. Can I light it? <laughs> We're playing with a lighter. Um, something supposed to happen. Oh, hey there. Private meeting. The door stays shut. Hi. French Tony's dead. I had to let him go. Um, sorry for his loss. He'd been talking to the Russians. <laughs> Victor fucking Kozlov and his Russian fucking money. My old man knew the score. Yeah. He always say, you can't make money from a prison cell or a coffee. He's spot on. You could at least show me something. This Russian lot I ain't got a clue. Everyone wants to shoot everyone else. Killing people over nothing. Well, even a bent copper can't ignore that. They'll get us all banged up. You know how you bring down a man like Kozlov? Mm, no clue. You make him look a mug. Do that, and he'll come at you so loud, so strong, that if the old Bill don't kill him, his own people will. <laughs> and that's why, tonight, we That's awesome. We're going to help ourselves to the one thing he cares about the most. His beloved diamond, Serena. That's Serena. You'll need these. Mobile phone. I got one of those, but thanks for the spare. I grab that. It's clean. Ditch it when you're done. Earpiece. Nice. Grab that. Keeps your hands free. Cash. For the job, not the horses. Now, I've made sure the alarm's switched off. So all you've got to do is walk in, get the diamond, and walk out again. Easy. Sounds easy. There's something else I want to talk to you about. It's about the business. Now, there's a lot riding on this. A lot for you, personally. Oh, thanks for putting that weight on my shoulder. Oh, hey now. Daddy, who's up for a Russian party? Oh, I said no one was allowed up yeah, here. Yeah, well, I ain't no one, am I, Frank? I've got any security passes you asked for. Those boys done them. All the computer. Thanks, Mickey. Now, that ain't on a fucking bonnet. We're talking bro. How come my picture's down here? What are we talking about? What are you, the old Bill? It's none of your fucking business. I can't bring the van round. <laughs> All right, Frank. <laughs> Sounds like some party going on over there. I've known you since you was little. You've been part of the family since we took you in. Uh, personal that's space much? see you as. Family. Now, I'm looking to take more of a back seat. Enjoy some of what we've built up over the years. Here. Yes, I. Eh, why not? Now, I love Mickey, but he can barely take a shit on his own, let alone run this lot. But you, on the other hand, have got what it takes oh, it when the way. time comes to keep fire. this little kingdom out of the hands of men like Kozlov. But you've got to earn it. You know what this is? A book. This is the old business trapped between the pages of a little black book. You pull this off tonight. 
It's all yours. I think I'm all piss off. Um, okay. East London lockup, 6.30 a.m. So I'm guessing that's a backstory or something. And we meet again. Okay, um... What you looking at? I'm sorry, you're the only one here. You got some stunge looking me in the eye. Sorry? Um, uh, you could've put that in the ashtray or something. You and me are gonna play a little game. And the game is called... Where's Serena? I'm not good at that game. I bet you thought you'd be halfway around the world by now. But you're here. With me. And we're all wondering if you know where she is. What's your plan doing with that ball church there? Well, it's a trick, you little piece of shit! I don't give a monkey's fuck what Frank thinks about you. I don't trust you. And do you know why? Because there's only two people who could have taken Serena today. You or me. And it weren't fucking me. Now you two women up. You gonna answer that? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Frank. <sighs> Holy cow, dude. <laughs> it's your lucky day. He wants to talk to you. Uh, mushy mushy panther desk. I'm guessing this will result in a flashback. Yep, ah, called it. There's no trap or anything in is there? I mean, uh, yeah, there's a trap. Perfect. Yeah, as expected. Oh, All right. That uh, I'm sure there's more. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, something's shooting at me. I don't know where it's coming from. Chill out, dude. Where's... Ah, shoot. Oh! Oh, you're good at dodging, pal. So am I. Ow! That... Uh, I stand corrected. Never mind. Yeah, that's what I'm at. Hop! Where are you guys coming from? Right. Yeah, I'm not giving you the chance. Oh! These guys are coming out of the woodwork. Hey there. Uh oh! Shoot. No pun intended. Oh! Where are you? Where are you hiding? Ah! ah! I dropped my gun again. Oh, you're a trooper. 
killed. Oh. Why are you guys hiding somewhere? Hey God, I see it. Big move. Yeah, if only without easy. Play time's over. Ah! Dude, that made me flinch. <laughs> Mate, you're a legend. You lit that place up like a fucking Christmas tree. You're one ruthless little bastard. I'm proud of you. Oi, keep your eyes peeled. Clear, yeah? Well, for the moment, we're probably going to end it here and do a part two of this. So until then, this is Panther the Rankin saying, wherever you are, good day and good night.